before coming here, of course, I have seen news reports, I have heard analysis of uh, the situation, the complex situation that led to this displacement of uh, people from the Rakhine state. But it is one thing to see reports, it's one thing to read articles, and it's another thing to come here and to see and to hear and to touch. You know? And uh, my feelings, a part of me uh, is really very sad that humanity continues to suffer this way. But a part of me is also quite happy to see that the suffering people are being cared for, that there are people who try their best to affirm their dignity and to provide to them, even with limited resources and means, to provide for them what a decent human being deserves. So the sadness is also coupled with a lot of hope. I also see here that there are many human beings who want to show love, compassion, and want to affirm every human being has dignity. We have many displaced peoples here, and uh, most of them, if not all, moved not because they wanted to, but because they were forced by circumstances. And that was a very dangerous and lonely journey. So coming here with Caritas Bangladesh, we are, in a way, exercising our own campaign share the journey, meet them where they are, listen to their stories, and share their dreams and their sorrows. First of all, I would like to thank the people of Bangladesh. What I see here in this camp is a, a testament to what the people of Bangladesh is able to accomplish. And I would like to uh, thank the uh, government of Bangladesh for cooperating with many people of goodwill in putting some system and also uh, providing uh, the necessary services. But at the same time, I am calling on the wider Caritas International family to continue supporting Caritas Bangladesh for the crisis is beyond <laughs> what Caritas Bangladesh uh, will be able to meet, you know. And so we, let us show that no member is alone, <laughs> that we can work together while respecting Caritas Bangladesh as the lead agent here in, in its uh, mission. A, 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 a camp for displaced peoples is like a cry to the whole world. And the challenge is, how can we, as an international body, as a, as a human family, how could we learn to go back to the basics? Human respect, caring, compassion. Can we have a better politics, the best politics? Could we make solidarity the best political agenda?